Hey guys, Ethereon here from Languages of C. I'm from the Guild Legion of Scorn, and we're gonna take on the Quadruple S Timeless Trial Final Stage. Uh, yeah, a new challenge for us because uh, this just got added to the game. Uh, just thinking of how to clear this, but uh, this promises to be quite fun, hopefully, since uh, it's been a while since we've had a real challenge. Okay, let's bring Dark Reaper and you as well. Okay, that looks fine, that looks fine. Let's have a Sky Archer just as a sacrifice, just in case. Okay, oh wait, no, no, no not yet. Okay, we got Shrines, so we want to break that. Uh, although the AOE can already break that, so I suppose we just bring the usual Bloodthirster build. Alright, let's go. So I think the priority priority kill for this stage uh, obviously has to be Clarette because of her ability on turn 2 to just mess you up completely. So, Danger Zone on, but with the account for Luna, Luna is like that, 1, 2, 3. So she can move here, and here, and here, and here, right, so. We stay just outside Luna's maximum range. We've got a... We've got a Yulia, but we'll just do what we normally do in PvP against Yulia, which is just AoE her down. So Claret needs to die, um, for sure. And we do that with Omega and his Alice Bow. 2000 attack, really? Didn't see it. Mm, sad. Do we even need to again this guy? Uh, one, one, two, three against here. One, two. I can't hit her from there. So let's just run back first. Um, he has 407 skill. Everybody here can be tripled by him rather easily. And we're just going to make a Sky Archer, just in case. In fact, maybe we just put her here and draw aggro. And then Omega can have his pick. There we go. Good, good. Hit me. Uh oh, I forgot about that. They're gonna hit, hit uh, with. Uh oh. That was unlucky. Uh oh, I think that's a dead Omega. Oh no, 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 thank goodness. Your holy guard isn't gonna do anything, woman. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna have to kill Yulia multiple times as we always do. Okay. Omega's back to full health. He's gonna kill Luna. So this is my version of the stage, you do not have to follow my version, you do not have to copy these tactics if you don't have these heroes, this is just a way for you to, uh, you know, basically, that's a dead Yulia, it doesn't matter if she has 2200 intelligence, she's still dead. So it doesn't matter if you uh, don't have these heroes because you can always do your own version. Attack from free range, very safe, very dead. Alright. AoE? Uh, okay, this makes me glad I do not have a, what do you call it, a demon bozo. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um, let's attack the Shana, forget that. Uh, we're gonna back off. Actually, no. Let's do this. So we want to break the shrines. It's very important to break the shrines. Or you're gonna get stuffed, basically. Uh, <laughs> that might be a dead Liana next turn, but I don't really care. Her job is done. Shrine Maidens are broken. That's a dead Shalfenio. Continuing the one-man show that is Omega. Okay, good. We're gonna stay. Can she retaliate? She can. 
Uh, yeah, two blocks. So we're just gonna chill. She's gonna hit and kill Diana, that's fine. She did. But your sacrifice was not in vain. Okay. We have... no. Let's uh, get out of dodge for this turn. Okay. I think she can counter attack, you know. That's probably not a good idea. Okay, let's try it anyway. I'm gonna have to clock that most likely. Yep. Yep. As expected. So basically what happens is that because of a fair fight, she actually gets to go first. So Alhazard Zerida never manages to attack. And actually she's not very useful at all. Mm, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Chill, chill, chill. We're gonna chill over here. She can't attack us from here, so this is a very sneaky move. <laughs> I wish uh, it would be nice if uh, we could. Okay, that's Alhazan again. I see she continues chasing the Omega. Come on, come and chase my mages. Oh, you annoying woman. <laughs> I don't know if this is enough to kill actually, I don't think so. Probably not. Okay, 9000, good. Ay. So annoying, this kiting game with Amelia is so annoying. Okay, she finally catches up to Omega, are you gonna kill? I don't think so. Oh, that was close. Very close. That's probably not enough. But we'll see. Yeah, that's not enough. But we can do this, I think. I don't know whether that's enough though. It is enough! Oh crap, she heals up and she revives. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's clock that. So I can't lose Liana, obviously. Um, and I think things started going downhill here. So we really need to run away from Amelia in this direction, towards the rest of our friendly troops. Which of course, you know, if you were smart, which I'm not, you would have done. But whatever, whatever. Live and let learn. Come on, Amelia. Yeah, the revive kind of kind of changes things a bit. Okay, we'll regroup. We'll chill over here. We are going to bloodthirst. We have to make sure to dark reaper with Bozo, but only after she drops below ninety percent health. So that her fair fight doesn't kick in. I'm not interested in a fair fight. Not at all. Actually. Okay, so we drop her. And we are going to... Okay, good. We Dark Reaper. Heal back. And that's one dead Amelia. I'm pretty sure she can't kill us uh, with uh, whatever troops she has and all that. Come on then, make my day. 36. <laughs> Good night. Alright, so that's quadruple S timeless trial. A bit tricky, but that was the first time you're we doing it, so I'm sure there's a better way to do it. But since um, this is new, I thought I'll just put in the effort to make a video for this for whoever can follow along. You don't have to, you can do it your own way if you want to. In any case, this has been Zethrion, signing off.